show today. The implementation plan and the public process that we've had have helped us answer a lot of questions and resolve many concerns. But it was also clear that certain implementation details required additional research and information that only a bidding process can provide. So today I want to underscore that the Council expects the Bureau to continue with its program development as guided by the implementation plan. I have reviewed the report submitted and I'm satisfied with it as were a majority of the Council. Well, I have a couple of questions. I'm going to recommend that we receive and file uh, the report today, but we do have, I do have a few questions that I'd like to ask. And uh, well, so with that, let me turn it over to our Public Works President. All right. Good afternoon, Honorable Chairperson Wezar. My name is Capri Maddox, President of the Board of Public Works. Um, as you stated, on April 24th, um, there was a, a motion from Councilmember um, Englander regarding um, items number 23A, 23M, um, where he had a, a, a number of questions, a number of issues that were of great concern to him. And we have prepared responses, and we do understand that you're in a position now that you're interested in actually uh, filing and accepting those, those, those responses. However, we do have an opportunity for you to ask of further questions. We have Karen Coca as well as Dan Myers here from the Bureau of Sanitation. And also at the end of the table, we have our very own Commissioner Nutter that um, can answer any labor-related questions that you may have because he's our labor expert on the Board of Public Works. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Do you know? We had a number of motions that were submitted. Um, any of these motions that were submitted uh, as additional review of the implementation program, did they raise any concern that you think we merits additional attention, discussion, or changes to our implementation plan? Um, Karen Coco with the Bureau of Sanitation. Uh, Council member, there are, there are, as you mentioned um, in your opening, a number of details, uh, a plethora of details that we're going to have to be working out as we develop the program over the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, there are several items that were brought up that, that are going to require some additional work, uh, like uh, establishing the, the lines of authority for different types of inspection of facility sites, uh, customer sites, uh, things like that. There are quite a, a number of regulations that govern these different types of facilities. And so we're going to be working on that in particular over the next um, year or more to figure out those lines of authority and, and where they are and what the city can do. So um, that's just an example. Uh, many of the other items, uh, there are, uh, they were addressed in the implementation plan, but again, as we get more into the details and as we develop the program and come back to the council with, um, with our RFP and the um, ordinance, you'll be able to see and, and review those at that time, and we'll actually have a lot more information for you. Okay, great. And on motion A, motion A was an England Buscaino. It says to strike recommendation that sets a cost of living cap on rate increases during a period of franchise and set rates at the time of contracting. Now, do you anticipate that when a franchise is awarded, a rate will be set for the length of the term? Uh, yes, I do. In fact, that's, that's one of the positive benefits of it is the customers will know how much their rates are going to be at the outset, and then we're going to have limitations on the amount that they, they can be raised annually over to the term of the franchise contracts. Yeah. So um, people will know what their costs are going to be. Um, it won't be subject to renegotiation by their hauler, and then they have to deal with trying to find another hauler and the things that they have to do now. So it will have quite a bit of rate stability um, for them. Okay. And our motions B and K, uh, those talked about replacing 11 zones with up to 20, and uh, K was... JJK, amend zone map language to a minimum of three small zones, a cap market share at 40% instead of 49%. Now, I think these are really relating to fostering a competitive marketplace. That's what they're trying to get. In. And is your program development guided by a goal of ensuring long-term competition? Or Well, one of the goals of the program was to ensure that we would have ongoing competition in the marketplace. But there, there is at a certain point where you have so many zones and so much 
so many small zones that you're starting to lose the efficiency of, of being able to develop programs, develop facilities, which is very capital intensive. Um, you're going to lose that ability if, the zone, if there's too many zones that are, are well, tiny. Um, the reason that the zones were developed the way they were was to take advantage of the city-owned facility that is here in, in central Los Angeles, um, which will afford the smaller haulers that maybe don't have the wherewithal to have uh, their own transfer station to develop that. And there's many recycling facilities gathered in this area as well. So we put a... Um, there was over a year of work done on the franchise zone maps, and um, I believe that we looked at that very extensively. On um, Motion K, um, let's see. Uh, Motion 23B? Um, yeah, 23K. Uh, the issue of, of the uh, percent of service that can be performed by a single um, company we had proposed 40%, um, but there was an extensive, uh, of course you were here, uh, an extensive discussion in committee over a couple of uh, sessions talking about uh, that issue. And I believe that the idea was to make sure that there would still be a number of, of haulers in the system. And, and we will ensure that through the process. But I believe that the, uh, you know, the committee actually decided upon that number. Great, thank you. Those were all my questions. Is there anybody here from any of the council offices who submitted motions that would like to speak? No? Okay, as you know, we had our decision to move forward with uh, our franchise system, and that prompted several motions that we heard in committee. And then we, when we did our implementation plan, that prompted more motions. Some council members were concerned that we didn't give that a fair hearing in committee, so we're doing that now. So let the record show that we actually uh, brought up an opportunity to discuss it in committee so that when we go back to council with anything, we will be able to uh, move forward uh, with the implementation plan. So with that, uh, thank you for your presentation. Yes. Um. Oh, there is. Okay. I believe, right. I believe that we have are. Nicole Burnson, Deputy Chief of Staff for Council District 12 okay. present. If there's any particular motion you would like us to focus on or ask questions for the staff? Well, first I want to, uh, to thank the committee. I particularly want to thank your staff. Um, Martin was very um, generous to sit down with us and make sure that he understood the intent sorry, of all the... the record, your name and... I'm sorry. Excuse okay. me, Nicole Burnson, on behalf of Councilmember Englander, CD12. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of students here who not here every day, so they may not know who you, you are. We all know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, I did want to thank Martin for extending the opportunity to meet with us and go through all the intent of all the motions. I think there's some um, clarity that's been added in the um, letter that was, um, that was uh, developed by staff. Um, and then, in particular, uh, motion D, which is not, which is a council member Buscaino uh, motion, uh, motion, amending motion, is something that we would like to focus on. Perhaps this is not the appropriate committee, but that is something that will be very important to our street bond program as well. Okay, great. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Um, so with that, let me uh, now go to public comment. I want to thank the staff for your presentation. Thank you, Councilman. I will call up three people at a time. If you could come up and take a seat. Have whoever comes up first, you feel free to speak. Andrea Nichols, Kabira Stokes, Jean Smith, Smitty, somebody from the Teamsters. Oh, there you are. I know. Didn't understand your writing. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Andrea Nichols from uh, UCLA's. Labor Occupational Safety and Health Program, and um, as you probably already know, um, we support all workers' rights to um, a safe and dig dignified job. And um, I, on behalf of UCLA Loesch, and uh, as well as the LA County Federation of Labor, who we partner with, um, wanted to say that I um, appreciate the the support and um, support the implementation plan. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Next. Hi, I'm Kabira Stokes. I'm the founder and CEO of Isidore Electronics Recycling. We're one of the few electronics recycling companies uh, creating jobs here in Los Angeles in that industry. We also hire previously incarcerated folks, so we're a, a local social enterprise. Uh, I also want to say we appreciate the report, and we fully support the implementation plan and hope it moves forward quickly. Okay, great. Thank you. 
Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> Jim Smith, political coordinator for Teamsters Local 396. Uh, we represent close to 3,000 workers in the uh, private sector waste and recycling industry. Um, and be on behalf of the Teamsters, I just want to uh, thank the uh, the committee and the council for and the the, the city, the bureau, uh, the Board of Public Works for all of their their hard work, uh, the numerous stakeholder meetings, hearings, council meetings. Um, these are important issues that have been have been raised, and uh, it's uh, it's we appreciate that. We've had the opportunity to vet these issues, um, but it's time to move forward, and we support the, uh, the committee's report and the uh, implementation plan from the Bureau. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Our next two speakers are uh, Linda Escalante, or that, that's correct, right? And Greg Good. Good afternoon. My name is Linda Escalante. I'm a policy advocate for the Natural Resources Defense Council, NRDC. NRDC supports the Bureau's plan for implementing the exclusive waste franchise, and we urge you to move ahead without any further deliberation on issues that have already been uh, thoroughly studied, debated, and decided upon by the City Council. This plans include input gathered from stakeholders across the city in a multi-year process to determine what is best for our environment and for our communities, our workers, and for the City of Los Angeles. Questions and concerns that were raised by many of us along the way have been taken very seriously and addressed by the Bureau and are reflected in this implementation plan. We simply cannot afford to go backwards and squander the progress we've made, and we must keep our eyes on the prize. Clean air, good jobs, recycling for all our businesses and apartment buildings, and zero waste. NRDC is committed, committed to engaging in this process until we're, we've accomplished what we've set out to do, making Los Angeles a model for the rest of the nation and beyond. So please let us continue to move ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon, Councilman. Uh, my name is Greg Good. I'm the director of the Don't Waste LA campaign, representing over 40 organizations in Southern California committed to the highest possible standards um, for the environment, for neighborhoods, and for workers in the waste and recycling industry. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We salute and admire and appreciate the work of the Bureau of Sanitation, um, both on the implementation plan and their answers to the motions um, put forward on April 24th. We appreciate the work of this committee and the committee report. We support the implementation plan and urge you to move forward and uh, wish you a fabulous rest of your week. Thank you. Um, well, thank you very much, and that concludes our public comment. Um, we've got the responses and um, from our department. Um, what I would like to do is uh, move this as a, a receive and file uh, as a report from the chair, and we will work with Council President Weston's office to see when we can schedule um, further action uh, on this item in full council. So there are a few items forthcoming, uh, but it appears that at least as this committee is concerned, we could move forward with some with, with this item as a receiving file. Okay. Any other business? That completes your agenda. Great. And uh, let me ask my colleagues if they concur with the adjourning motion. The committee. <laughs> <laughs> concur. Meeting adjourned. Thank you.